International reports show that from 100,000 organ transplants in China in the last 10 years, more than half come from Falun Gong. The government launched a nationwide persecution to eradicate the traditional and peaceful spiritual practice of Falun Gong. This follows the principles of truth, compassion, tolerance. In China, organ harvesting has become basically a booming business. For kidney and liver, the waiting time in Europe is several years. In China, it is one to four weeks. This shows that China has a huge bank of living people from whom organs can be removed at any time. We must save innocent people from being killed in China at any time for their organs. This is one of the most shocking facts, I think, uh, as a human rights defender, as someone who is very deeply connected and very deeply attached to this cause of human rights defense. I know and uh, this, this is very, very disturbing news about org organ harvesting uh, in China and especially the use of Falun Gong practitioners as the source for this. I think that we have to raise our voices because this is something that we cannot ignore anymore. Uh, we cannot ignore the fact that in the 21st century that human beings can be confined to some sort of raw materials uh, for organ transplantation, for organ harvesting. This is absolutely incredible. After the Second World War, after Nazism, we cannot tolerate such practices. We know that people normally would wait for organs years and years and years. In China it's very simple. It's almost as precise as to indicate the date, the hour, and people get the organs they need. Which means that the supply comes from human beings whose lives are not valued and respected. Absolutely. And I have to say that this is something that has to be discussed not in wooden and technical language, but we have to address it very strongly. Because this concept of unvaluable life is something that comes from the Nazis. That was the concept that some people are worth living and others are not. We have the opinion that China is an intransparent dictatorship and we need transparency to know what happens. This is the, the heart of our resolution. We want transparency and human rights. The resolution on organ harvesting in China has been adopted a yeah, uh, few minutes ago and uh, during the debate uh, on this uh, urgency resolution I also expressed my opinion. I said that systematic and state-orchestrated um, organ harvesting in China, uh, including uh, political prisoners, prisoners of conscience, including Falun Gong practitioners, is absolutely unacceptable and should be ended immediately. Uh, I also think that um, it's a shame that the great country like what China is, which a month ago was elected to the United Nations Human Rights Council, cannot continue with this uh, lamentable human with the lamentable human rights record. And uh, finally, I think that all prisoners of conscience, all political prisoners in China, including Falun Gong practitioners, uh, who are suffering because of their religious belief. Uh, should be released immediately. I've met someone myself whose best pr friend died in, pr in prison. He disappeared one evening from the cell and uh, when uh, he next saw his friend's body it had holes in it in the prison hospital and he thought some operation had been done but obviously what had happened was he'd been transplanted, uh, he'd been um, harvested through his organs. I insisted on, on the fact that uh, over half of these people, of the victims of uh, harvesting of organs uh, come from uh, Falun Gong uh, uh, organization and uh, basically it's a main uh, victim uh, its practitioners are, are the main victim uh, of this uh, of this crime uh, after the 99 uh, uh, peaceful demonstration it's important to save the life of the people and uh, it, it's we can't accept that uh, people are taking away their organs without a prior consent uh, and uh, and uh, against their wish so uh, the answer is no we don't accept that it is uh, well known uh, over the world that uh, uh, China has more than 10,000 transplantations in every year. And we also saw the advertisement that if you want a new organ, that uh, they can uh, take care for it in, uh, in two, three weeks. Uh, and that is uh, completely uh, against all the standards of the World Health Organization. We have deep concerns 
and we wanted to express our deep concerns towards uh, the uh, the Chinese uh, authorities and uh, um, to convince them that they should, should really stop with this practice. We have to fight for this. If China is to become a friend, a real partner, we have to fight for this attitude because China has to come to terms with some things that we take as universal values. But uh, concerning Falun Gong and human um, organ harvesting, this is especially shocking for me. And I would say that we have to send a very clear message. We wouldn't tolerate anything similar in any other country. And human life is as precious, as valued in China as elsewhere in the world. And this is exactly what we are going to say with this resolution. Well, I'm in principle opposed against all organ harvesting. Uh, first of all, uh, I think it's also immoral to take it from executed persons um, without prior consent. Uh, and then uh, any prisoner, uh, be it a criminal or a prisoner of conscience, uh, who, who uh, is exposed to that against his or her will, uh, that is an unacceptable practice. And uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, I hope uh, that this practice will be ended. It must stop. That is the demand of the parliament here. Uh, this announcement that by 2015 they will not do it any longer for executed persons. Uh, uh, for us that is not acceptable. It must stop now and it must stop everywhere and against anybody. Chinese authorities, and that is also another demand from our side, they should uh, respond to the request of the UN Special Rapporteur on torture um, uh, and uh, have, have him uh, uh, have a look and then make an investigation. I think that is also important. The United Nations, where China is a member and is even sitting in the Security Council, uh, the institutions of the United Nations should not be excluded from um, investigating the, 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 the issue. The best way is also to launch a discussion within a given country, in this case China, so that uh, from a, a civic approach from the citizens in the public uh, or at least through the internet uh, and uh, the, what is possible there, that such discussions spread and uh, that the government uh, then accepts uh, to stop it uh, against anybody. I believe that we have to think about new legislation, which would be extraterritorial, which would be international, and which would simply um, require, require the individual responsibility of all people involved in these operations, in these absolutely criminal, illegal activities. So this would send a very strong message to China. Yes, I, I, would, uh, I would prohibit all Europeans to do this, uh, because uh, if we know uh, how these organs uh, are taken, are removed from people, and how, uh, you know, uh, by uh, uh, sacrificing others, uh, uh, this shouldn't be done. It's, it's not. Im it's immoral, and uh, it's against our values uh, in the European Union. So I would expand such uh, regulation at the level of the Union. Uh, and also, I'd like to to remind the uh, quotation from uh, Dante in Inferno: "The worst places in in uh, in uh, uh, in the hell are reserved for those." Uh, who stay aside uh, during the time of moral crisis. And we are now in moral crisis, uh, so we should act. That's not necessarily ref uh, related to Chinese people. It's to all people in the world who stay aside in times of moral crisis.